Hello teacher mentors and welcome back. As a mentor teacher, in order to bring a positive change in your schools, you need to be able to effectively observe a classroom and provide coaching to your teachers. In this video, we will learn about why we need to coach or mentor teachers and how to observe a classroom and provide feedback to the teacher. To implement any new teaching strategy, we need a teacher to change their current practice and approach inside the class. Changing one's practice, especially something that one has been doing for years, is definitely not easy. In our trainings, we share with teachers many new strategies. However, is this enough for teachers to change their practice? Definitely not. You'd be surprised to know that research shows that 26% of an educator's learning comes from pre-work for training, 24% comes from actual training, and 50% comes from follow-up after the training. So while training provides new knowledge, in addition to this knowledge, teachers need motivation to make a change in their day-to-day -day teaching practice. When a teacher tries to implement something new for the first time, most likely they won't succeed. At this time, they need the support to implement and solve for any challenges that they're encountering. So to help a teacher cross this bridge between knowledge and the actions that they need to take inside their class, it is you as a mentor teacher and the support that you're providing that becomes crucial. In order to provide coaching to the teachers, you will first need to know where they are currently in their journey to implement Khan Academy. The objective of the classroom observation is to identify the strengths and areas of improvement of the teacher. Remember, a classroom observation is not an inspection. In an inspection, the objective is to evaluate the performance of the teacher. However, the objective of classroom observation is to identify how best we can support a particular teacher. In classroom observation, here is what you should typically do. First of all, inform the teacher in advance that you would like to visit their class. Secondly, decide the date and time of classroom observation in consultation with the teacher. Arrive 10 to 15 minutes early in school. Make the teacher comfortable and share the objectives of the observation with the teacher. During the observation, sit on the last bench so that students are not distracted by your presence. Make sure that you do not interrupt the teacher or student during the class. Take detailed notes of student actions and teacher actions. Here are a few specific points that you can observe when you are in class. Do students know their user ID, password and how to log into Khan Academy? What implementation model has been chosen by the teacher? Does the teacher have a routine and process set to review the teacher dashboard, celebrate student effort, and for assigning content? Are all students getting an opportunity to use Khan Academy? What additional steps can teachers take to ensure that all students practice at least 30 minutes per week on Khan Academy? At the end of the class, thank the students and teacher for allowing them to observe their class. After you complete the class observation, we recommend that you take at least 20 to 30 minutes to go through your notes. Reflect on your observations and think about three important questions. Number one, what are the top one to two actions of the teachers that you would like to appreciate the teacher for? Number two, what are the top one to two actions of the teacher that you would like a teacher to improve upon? And number three, Based on the observation of the class, what are the one or two areas in which you could support the teacher? This could be about helping them with the devices and the internet or it could be supporting them with the school timetable or leveraging parent support. Remember, the foundation of effective coaching and mentoring is mutual trust, a safe environment and confidentiality. So here are some tips to help build a strong foundation. One, be specific about what you're providing feedback on. 
to the extent possible use examples to illustrate your point and avoid generalization. Focus on specific teacher actions and how they've affected student learning inside the classroom. Two, provide feedback preferably on the same day of the observation. Delaying feedback can make it less effective and the person may not remember the details of the situation. Three, provide feedback in a constructive manner. Avoid attacking or blaming the person and instead focus on what they can do differently in the future. Most of the time, we tend to share what can be improved. However, always start your feedback session by sharing what the teacher did well. Finally, make sure that you give one to two specific and actionable next steps to the teacher. You should also ensure that you're following up with the teacher on all of those next steps. Now that you've learned how to observe a class and provide feedback to the teacher, we recommend that you create a schedule for your school visits and start playing the role of a coach to your teachers.